Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to a new video for 6.2 where in this video we will learn to calculate KC, KP or the quantities of species present at, equi at equilibrium. Where for this calculation we will use ice table. Okay, so all your notes will be on page 7. Okay, so why do we need to use ice table? But first let's look at the question dulu lah ha. Uh, example number 1 on page 7 here. At a certain temperature, a mixture of 0 0.1 molar of H2 and uh, 0 0.1 molar I2 was prepared. After a period of time, the equilibrium was established. And at equilibrium, the concentration of I2 has dropped to 0 0.02 molar. What is the value of Kc for this reaction at this temperature? Okay, so selalunya when we calculate the Kc ni, uh, first thing first kita kena lah write down what is the Kc for a given equation. So I'm just going to write down. So from here, it mentioned that uh, at equilibrium, the concentration of I2 had dropped to 0 0.02 molar. Okay, so when we're talking about calculation of Kc, so it means that the system is in equilibrium. Okay, and then... So, what does it mean for the concentration of HI, for our H2 dengan I2 ni, mestilah semuanya kita kena guna concentration at equilibrium. So, contohnya kalau kita tengok baliklah pada example number 1 kita ni kan. So, dia bagi tahu dekat sini. In an experiment, the concentration of species at equilibrium. So, that's why lah yang ni kita boleh guna straight away sahaja. Masukkan the uh, the value of the concentration into our Kc. But for this case, an example number uh, page 7 ni, dia just bagi tahu at a certain temperature, a mixture ni was prepared. Okay, so maknanya uh, at the start of experiment, 0 0.1 molar H2, 0 0.1 molar I2. So after a period of time, the equilibrium was established. So maknanya dekat sini, the equilibrium was established ni, kita tidak tahu lagi concentration of H2 dengan I2 ni. But what we know is that at equilibrium, the concentration of I2 had dropped to 0 0.02 molar. So, macam mana pula dengan concentration? Maksudnya sekarang ni kita hanya tahu equilibrium untuk I2 je. Ha, H2 kita tak tahu. HI ni pun kita tak tahu. Okay, so how do we find out? Sebab so, kita kena guna ice table. So, how do we use ice table ni? So, first kita akan express the equilibrium concentration in terms of initial uh, concentration atau pressure and a single unknown which represent the change. So, first kita kenalah the ice to initial, C2 means change. Okay, and then write the equilibrium constant expression in terms of the equilibrium concentration of pressure. So, knowing the value of the equilibrium constant, so for x. And then, barulah kita boleh, dah tahu x, barulah calculate the equilibrium concentration or pressure. Okay, so what does it mean here? So, from equation ni, kita kena lah buat ice table. So, on your notes ni, Miss dah buat dah table tu awal-awal. Well, kita kena gunakan all the equation ni lah. So, why do we use ice? Ice ni stands for uh, initial change and equilibrium. So, kamu tidak boleh tulis ice je lah. Kena tulis lah betul-betul what does it mean by ice. And then, because I don't want to uh, write down all the unit dalam ni, I'm just going to write down unit ni awal-awal dia kat sini. So, from here, what we have information is actually about molarity. Molarity dengan molarity. So, what I'm going to use here is actually, semua ni unit dia is actually molar, 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 capital M. Okay, so, from here, how do we calculate here? Dia bagi tahu uh, a mixture of 0 0.1 molar H2 and 0 0.1 molar I2 was prepared. Remember, this is our reactant kan? So, initially, uh, kita tengok balik pada graf kita ni lah kan? Okay, dalam kes ni, A ni is actually, this is the graph for equation A reversible B kan? Okay, so A ni is actually reactant. Over time, dia punya concentration akan berkurang. Tapi, at the start of the experiment, it does have uh, a concentration kan? The same goes for reactant dalam equation ni, which is H2 dengan I2. At the start of experiment, the concentration is 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So, I'm just going to write down here 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Okay. But then again, how about HI? So, HI ni is our product. Sama juga macam case ni, B is our product. So, before the start of the experiment, uh, baru je nak prepare kan? So, at the start tu, bukan terus ada product. Uh, first tu, reactant at one 
time once the reactant has changed to product barulah the value but at initial ya uh, awal-awal tu tidak ada product so for product dia punya uh, initial value will be zero okay so remember sebab at the start of the at the start of the reaction product belum form lagi kan hanya preparekan reactant je contohnya dah start dah berapa dah berapa saat ataupun berapa minit then baru reaction uh, occur barulah product will form so at the start dia akan jadi zero okay so that is in terms of initial change ni macam mana pula change ni dia kata a single unknown x which represent the change okay so kita tengok uh, change ni kita akan dinotkan dia dengan x lah x x x okay tapi kalau reactant so sebelum dia nak capai equilibrium yang ni kita punya reactant kan okay this is actually our reactant okay so before dia capai sini kita kata dia capai equilibrium so kita nampak the concentration berkurang so sebab tu lah kalau reactant we have to write down minus x minus x because even though we do not know the change but we know that the concentration of reactant akan berkurang so we're gonna write down minus x minus x okay why minus x sebab depan ni dia kan uh, in front of our H2 dengan I2 tu is 1 kan uh, so nak tengok nak tulis minus 1 X boleh minus X pun boleh ok tapi sekarang ni for case of our product so kita tengok dekat sini as reaction proceed uh, dia punya concentration akan increase kan kalau for product so dia tidak boleh buat minus lah so we will write it down as plus sebab as reaction proceed concentration akan increase tapi dalam case ni depan dia ada dua kan so we're gonna write down plus 2x so, ok so how about equilibrium equilibrium ni kita akan combinekan these two so maknanya dekat sini dia akan jadi 0.1 minus x ha, sini pun akan jadi 0.1 minus x ok but our product ni so 0 plus 2x kan so dia akan jadi 2 x. Ok, so yang ini baru ice table kita. Ok, so sekarang ni macam mana kita nak cari kita punya KC? Kita dah buat ice kan tapi it's not finish yet lah. Ok, dekat sini dia bagi tahu the concentration of I tu had dropped to 0.02 mola. So dekat sini dia adalah 0.02 mola. 0.02 mola. Ok, so sekarang ni we know that the concentration of um I2 is 0.02 mola. So, I'm just gonna write down yang ini. Okay, and then we know that kat sini 0.1 minus X is equal to 0.02. So, kalau dekat sini, H2 ni pun 0.1 X pun, dia akan jadi equal to 0.02 mola jugalah. Sebab it's the same one. Okay, so kita tulis ada kat sini. So, this is actually ni yang kena concentration at equilibrium lah. So, even though we do not mention, even though you do not write it down betul-betul kat sini ni equilibrium, but it is known lah sebab this is equilibrium constant. So, maknanya kita nak concentration dia, uh, the value of concentration dia dekat sini. Okay, so yang ini kita tahu it will be the same. Tapi kalau HI ni, HI is equal to 2X. Uh, so, tapi kita tak tahu lagi value X kan? Uh, so, kita kena lah cari. How are we going to find out the value of uh, X ni? The value of x, so kita tulislah 0.1 minus x is equal to 0.02. So, so maknanya x dekat sini 0.08. Okay, so once we know that x is equal to this value, barulah kita tahu concentration of HI. So, this is actually all the value of the concentration of H2, I2 dengan HI at equilibrium. So, ni equilibrium, equilibrium, equilibrium lah. Ha, this is the value. Kita dah cari. Okay. So, once we have find out the calculation, or find out the concentration uh, in at equilibrium, so kita bolehlah terus uh, substitute sahaja the value. Ni ke si, eh, yang ni. This one here, this one here, uh, this one pun. Yeah, but make sure for the calculation tu, tengoklah ada squared ke tidak. Okay, so once we have substituted, we do get Kc is equal to 64. So that is the answer. So, dia tanya what is the value for Kc for the reaction. 
Remember, KC maknanya equilibrium constant. We're gonna use the, for the calculation, we have to use concentration at equilibrium. So, dalam kes ni, bila dia tak bagi concentration at equilibrium, kan dia guna ice table ni lah. ICE. Ha, make sure ada unit dia. Reactant must be minus. Uh, product must plus lah. Because uh, as reaction proceed, uh, kalau as reaction proceed, kalau product dia akan bertambah. The concentration akan increase. The same goes kalau pressure lah. Kalau untuk reactant, the concentration atau the pressure will decrease. Okay, so yang ini pula tengok pada kita punya uh, stoichiometry. At the start of the experiment, uh, kita for the product, it will be zero. So that is for question one. So question two, so kita tengok sama-sama. Dia kata dekat sini, the atmospheric oxidation of nitric oxide was studied at 184 degrees Celsius. For the pressure of 180 mno dengan 180 mo2. At equilibrium, dia bagi pressure of O2 is 0 0.0. 0.506 atm. So, calculate Kp. Okay, so kita kena tulislah. This is actually our initial change dengan uh, equilibrium. Okay, for this case, kita tengok. Dia bagi dekat sini atm kan. So, we're gonna use dekat sini. Uh, the unit will be atm. Okay, dia just bagi tahu the atmospheric uh, oxidation ni was studied. Pressure dia dia bagi NO dengan NO2. Kata at equilibrium pressure O2 is 0 0.506. So, dekat sini I'm just going to write down. So, maknanya at equilibrium this is the value. Tapi, dia minta calculate Kp. So, again, kalau I'm going to write down my Kp. For this case, kita tengok dekat sini. Uh, we need the pressure and O2 at equilibrium. And O at equilibrium dengan O2 at equilibrium. We only have uh, the value in equilibrium for O2 je. So, sebab itulah kita kena guna I stable. Okay, so, for the reactant, dia bagi sini 1 ATM NO, 1 ATM O2. 1, 1. So, this is product. At the start of the experiment, kiranya pressure ke, concentration ke, dia, it will be equal to 0. Sebab reaction belum start kan? So, tak boleh nak form product. Okay, so sekarang ni, change ni. Okay, so change. Uh, kalau yang ni, okay, kita guna X, X, X kan unknown kita ok, dalam kes ni this is reactant, so reactant dia akan jadi minus, tapi here, the stoichiometry tu ada 2 kan in front, right? in front of the NO, so minus 2X here is minus X for the product, dia akan jadi plus lah because as uh, time proceed, dia akan increase whether it's pressure atau concentration 2 X. So, how about equilibrium? So, equilibrium kita is actually we're going to add up initial dengan change ni. So, dia jadi 1 minus 2X. Here, 1 minus X. Here is 2X. So, from this information, uh, kita boleh carilah uh, kita punya uh, the equilibrium for NO2 dengan NO. So, we know that 1 minus X is 0 0.506 ATM. So, I'm just going to write down dulu concentration of O2. Here, we know that the concentration of O2 sahaja. Tapi, sekarang ni, macam mana kita nak, nak, nak tahu for NO? Kita kena cari X kita. So, I'm just going to write down. So, once we have figure out the X, boleh kita masukkan terus dalam kita punya NO dengan concentration of NO2. So, right now we have find out the um, the NO2, dia adalah 0 0.988, NO is actually 0 0.012, yang O2 ni is actually 0 0.506. So, we can use, uh, we can use, eh, we can substitute the value. Okay, so that's the value. So, that is the answer for the question number 2. Okay, remember... Uh, it does not mean yang ice ni mesti concentration lah. Pressure pun boleh juga. Kalau pressure, make sure lah dia adalah uh, look at the question. Here ATM kan. So, kat sini ATM lah. Kalau dia bagi millimeter mercury, guna millimeter mercury. Tapi, kalau concentration, memang unit dia is actually M. Capital M molarity. Okay. 
So make sure uh, if you're unsure kan. Uh, so dia ada bagi hint dekat situ lah. Uh, usually at the start of the, apa ni, at the initial ni, uh, dia akan bagi uh, the information for the reactant. Yang ini, change ni minus for our reactant plus is actually for our product. Tengok juga for our stoichiometry ni. So equilibrium, gabungkan sahaja. So that's it. Example 1 and 2 for pitch 7.